What's going on there folks? It is Earthmaster here. September 28th, 2018, 8.07 p.m. my time here. And just going to do an update video for earthquake activity around the globe. Also, I've uh, been experiencing some technical difficulties with the live stream. Uh, this is nothing new over the past couple days. Not for sure what's going on. Uh, I don't believe it's on my end because I don't think I've ever experienced anything like this. Everything else is working except for the live stream uh, when it completely shuts down. Uh, and I'm not for sure if it's YouTube doing it or not. I just don't want to make any assumptions at the moment. I do know that uh, about 60 million Facebook user accounts uh, was compromised and potentially hacked. Uh, on Tuesday they discovered that. So I ultimately had to re-log in to my Facebook account, as I'm sure most of you guys have had to uh, at some point today as well. But anyway, I just an interesting activity going on here with uh, social media and YouTube in general. Not for sure what's going on. I will get to the bottom of it. Taking a look at earthquake activity, folks, earlier, way earlier today during the day, they had that 7.5 mega quake out there in Indonesia region. Quite a shaker, uh, very shallow as well, at about 10 kilometers. Been seeing some video floating around there on Facebook and other social media outlets of uh, tsunami hitting along the coastline. Just kind of strange that they never did issue any type of tsunami statement with this large earthquake that occurred, uh, well, earlier today, way earlier today. Uh, as you can see right here, this here is from the Tsunami Warning Center. Uh, you can take a look at their dated information here, and it shows nothing of a sort over the past couple days, September 15th being the latest one right there. Also, the other Tsunami uh, uh, Warning Center. Let me see if I can find out where it went to. Um, that's not it. Not for sure where it's, where it's at, but anyway, I'm not for sure why they did not issue a uh, tsunami statement for that 7.5 earthquake maybe they did I just can't find it although my source I, I normally go to is pretty accurate uh, either way there was that 7.5 did you feel it report way up there in the shaking red zone uh, extreme for the folks there that happened to be within that region there they experienced uh, quite a bit of shaking uh, only a couple reports, of course, there in the Ind Indonesia Island re region. Uh, probably not a lot of access to internet activity there. Let's check out the tsunami.gov website and see if they had issued any type of uh, warning here. Um, uh, let's see here. No, they did not. This right here, this house or this little area thing is for a 5.8 that struck um, on the 29th. Well, just a little bit ago, I guess. But nothing of that 7.5, folks. You can check the dates out here. No tsunami statement from these folks, from both of these tsunami uh, websites, which I find rather strange, considering that apparently there was a tsunami I mean the video has not been confirmed but it's some of the newer uh, video that I haven't seen myself so I'm pretty certain that this is uh, uh, accurate that video that's floating around of a tsunami hitting the Indonesia islands region there I can't remember the exact region but <clears throat> pretty interesting to say the least I'm not going to show it here on the update video but you guys can check it out out here on YouTube maybe one of the mods can uh, post a link to it out there but definitely a lot of activity out there. Latest earthquake here along the west coast is a 4.4 earthquake striking just south of the border. Uh, the Mexico, California, United States border region right there at a depth of 11 kilometers uh, right at the end of that. Well, the San Andreas fault system ends right about here, but we're starting to see a little bit of activity uh, increase its way up north here. Uh, something we haven't seen in a while. This here is called the Imperial Fault. 
system, it looks like, at least according to, uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more here. Yeah, Imperial Fault line that runs along here through uh, Baja California region. Ends right up here, right short of the Brawley Seismic Zone here, which extends up to the famous uh, San Andreas Fault System here, the part of the fault system that is locked and loaded and uh, ready to blow any time according to seismologists and whatnot. A lot of pressure, a lot of stress built up uh, like a really tight spring and eventually uh, we're going to see a big one down there. But right now closest earthquake, that 4.4 down there just south of the border Mexicali, Baja, California region um, we'll be watching this activity tonight I do have the closest station in the region there is a station called Barrett, that's down there in Southern California roughly right around this area here where some activity is occurring looks like a couple smaller quakes within that area right there uh, but we'll be watching it, that's for sure uh, rest of the globe activity out here, 4.2 earthquake just off the Aleutian Islands region in the north here um, nothing big we haven't seen any deep earthquake activity in a while uh, but we are seeing some large earthquake activity out here around the Indonesia Islands region. Um, a little bit of activity occurring out here in this section of the plate. 5.6 out here. Other than that, some oddball activity. Um, just some, some weird stuff. Just not, uh, not seeing anything too weird that would make me want to, uh, put out any kind of earthquake warning aside from from that uh, earthquake activity down here just south of the San Andreas fault system there in the uh, Mexico region it's really not that far away folks the Imperial fault system uh, from the uh, Brawley fault system which connects up to the San Andreas fault system there something that we need to keep an eye on you know I guess I'd definitely be on guard in Southern California region uh, as uh, we could see a little bit of activity trigger something bigger especially when a plate section fault system is extremely under a lot of stress and has been building up for quite some time uh, definitely I got, I got this bug right here uh, definitely want to keep an eye on that Southern California region let's see here just south of Bakersfield we did see this little 3.2 well near Kernville at a depth of about uh, let me check that there real quick 5.5 miles nothing big but either way folks activity occurring down there in the southern part of the state real-time tremor detection system along the Cascadia subduction zone last three hours pretty quiet let's go back the last two days here and you can see uh, quite a bit of activity extending further down into Northern California. Most of the time we see it just right up here, just west of Redding and along the north coast here. Cut could have just felt an earthquake, but maybe not. I was looking up this, this little earthquake uh, rock I have hanging from the ceiling. Uh, it's a little, it's actually a pretty good sized crystal rock on a piece of string uh, that's attached to a loophole on my ceiling. And I've watched this thing swing before and it does some regular rotations day by day. The crystal itself will point in different directions. I'm not for sure what it means. I haven't really studied that, but uh, if you know anything about rocks, crystal rocks, and uh, why they're changing directions when they're hanging, let me know. It could have something to do with the humidity in the air, uh, the string that it's hanging from, maybe it's tightening up. It's